Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Azi Graphics. In this video, I'll be teaching you how I created this animation using CapCut. If you just joined me for the first time, kindly hit that subscribe button, put on the post notification bell so you can get notified when I post new video here on YouTube. Alright, let's just go straight to the tutorial. So the first thing I'll be doing is come to create my new project. Will be then I have my come to photos because I have my background saved, so I'll try and locate my background so it should be somewhere around this guy so i will add it so it's gonna take the space off my so i'll just click on it and extend it to about about five or oh. okay then this end and then video i don't need it so the next thing I'll be doing is I'll come to overlay, add overlay. So I will bring I have a lot of tutorials for you using Snapseed. I <laughs> said using Snapseed. So this is a product. I could have just bring everything at once. Come on, skip my mind. Okay, so then I'll just click on this project, this product, I will just put it like this. Alright, so we'll try to spice it. So I'll just like rotate it over 90 degree. Yeah, 90 degree. This is better. So we'll leave it like this. We'll come back to it so just come to overlay then i will bring in one of these chip then i'll bring in my chili pepper so those are just the two things we need then i will let me see if there's any other thing now i may just say to add okay um Okay, so that's that's everything I'll be adding. Decided to change my mind. Alright, so that's everything I'll be adding. So I'll just zoom, use my two fingers, can see it on the screen, scale them down. So I'll just kind of rotate this one, position it somewhere around. Okay, then tap on this one we also scale it down so we can just use our hands okay now so this is where we will be working so i want to put this on to where our video stop just kill it down to that particular one where our video will end so the particular function we'll be using here is this the keyframe i'll click on this all right so there's another element i forgot to bring in which is my shadow should be somewhere around here you're not seeing it but I'll just add it Add. so you can see the shadow now is now evident we'll come and spice it up okay so the next I will come click bring in my bring in my put my snack somewhere around there then I'll just make sure I'm at the top you know maybe i'll just drag it down now click on this keyframe plus so i'll move my to this end then i'll drag it here then i'll just rotate yep don't worry we can just position it here just ignore the shadow we can still use your hand to zoom in Ok, 
clean so this is perfect now we're still going to work on that shadow so so we can just put leave the shadow here so now let's see what we did when i click on play you see that it is dropping it's dropping then it just dropped so that's what we are trying to achieve so for this particular one we'll try and create many of these effects falling okay okay so i'll click on plus then i will let me just mind you can delete the keyframe by just i want to duplicate this copy so it is duplicated but so i'll just click on this one then just dra drag my hand just click on it then drag it to this side just drag click on it and drag on it you can see i've dragged it i just position it somewhere you can see it is now behind my shadow but it's going to be at this position i i kind of strongly recommend you do all the duplicates you want to do now so i'll just make like two more duplicates for this Oh, let me just make one more one more okay then the for the paper the reason I'm just doing one more is because I don't want this tutorial to be too long So so just position this one here. Then maybe you can just turn yep. I can put this one here. then this one I'll just copy this just leave it there and just use it to scale it here so use it just zoom in Okay, so we can just position this one here. I want to put my data connection on. I would have just blurred some of this. If so, this one, I'll click on this plus. So for the So I'll just drag it down here. So let's split. Now, um, I observed a problem here. I can just scale my two hands. I'm seeing the length at each. Yeah, it is ending. Okay, they are all ending. Try and make sure all every of yours. Now, so I won't be having that problem again. So for this one, so I'll click it here. Okay, we we'll have to spice this one up. So I'll just drag this one here. I don't want it to enter at the same time with my 
mga sa o click on this at my snack so I'll just drop this one here okay for this other one okay maybe I'll put this one here I'll click on the keyframe let me get rid of it move it on top here click on the keyframe then another position it somewhere around here okay for this my shadow So okay, these are going to do our shadow. So we had our key, you know, get rid of the key free. We just use our two finger also to reduce the size from here. Then when you get to this side, then we just use our two hand. And okay so this is this is perfect so we can just use our hand okay Right, so I don't want to tamper with this one again. Let's just leave that one. So we have some foot that are still stagnant. So I'll just position this one. Let's see. Okay, I'll, I'll just put this one somewhere. Let me let me put this one together. So I'll just oh I didn't had my keyframe okay plus then okay minus then this one the last but not the least I also want to add it somewhere around here. Okay, I've added. I want to add it, so let me. I will increase the size. Okay, so I will just leave this one because I don't want it to draw attention. So plus. And for the last one, I will I will leave it somewhere and yeah, click on plus. I will just slide it here. Click on plus. Then I'll just. minus then I'll just position this one here okay so now we are done let's just play everything we did oh the shadow is now appearing the way I want it to be
Okay, I guess I won't set the shadow. So I'll just scale it down plus I I was completely sure I did scaling down of the shadow. Oh, when I did undo. Okay, so this is perfect. So I'll just press it. Okay, so this is good. So I'll just come to come here, increase the the rates. I can leave it at until P and just maybe this. Then I'll just click on. Wow, click on this. <laughs> save export icon. So it's gonna save now to my phone. This tour shouldn't have taken me about ten minutes, but I'm glad you learned from it. All right, so I can now play it. So you can see this is practically just what I just wanted to show you. Now you can decide to add effects to your own or add music, add sounds. But however, I won't be adding. You can add audio here in the sound. I'm not putting on my data, so I, I would have just decided to use one of my one of my sound from it, but I'm scared of I'm scared of copyright claim, so that's why I won't be using it. I have some <laughs> music here that I want to use, but I won't want to use it because of copyright claim. All right, so that we don't just all you just need to do is just come here, and click on. I think I have. Hello guys. All right, so maybe. Hello guys and welcome back. Okay, so you can just add an effect sound like that. So I deleted it. All right, so that's all for this particular tutorial. We'll see you in the next video.